the reason plug-in electric vehicles are not sustainable long term is because they rely on the grid we rely on the grid significantly to keep everything going from your homes to any businesses to anything that has to, that needs energy which is everything um the grid then um has to withstand x amount of vehicles for x amount of time and California is not set up to withstand so many vehicles being plugged in at the same time, overnight especially. So what will happen is we're going to put a lot of pressure on that grid. Essentially, it will become more expensive. Even your solar will get more expensive with time. The only solution to a lot of these problems from the grid level is hydrogen fuel cells, which will solve the most complicated problems in transportation, long-term for heavy-duty and light-duty vehicles. Hydrogen is the future. It's inevitable. It will change the world. It will change the way that you guys transport. It will change everything to do with energy. Remember that hydrogen in itself is an energy carrier, okay? It's the lightest element in the entire universe, okay? We are made out of hydrogen as well. 75% to 78% of the universe is made out of hydrogen. Its abundance is beyond anything you guys have ever possibly ever imagined. The sun, as we speak, every nano microsecond is burning hydrogen at high rates that you can possibly ever imagine. It is a, it is a most sophisticated piece of design, work, energy, and nuclear fusion from a product of hydrogen. So yes, everything and anything in this world comes from that source of energy which now we can capture and um, produce and then go ahead and put it back into the fuel cells and produce energy as an energy carrier these vehicles are just not electric vehicles these vehicles in themselves are energy sources that move from x to z it is significant to understand the power of this technology it will change the world around you it will change your kid's world and it will make a lot of people a significant life-changing endeavor. Peace.